one key thing is vegans are made when the um, there is an emotional connection with the suffering of the animal ultimately when people change for their diet or environmental reasons although you know mother earth is all around us and she is us but people sort of see it out there when they in, sort of empathize with the suffering of an animal it sort of drops into their body and so in saying that i'm asking the question to sarah is has your friend had the opportunity to emotionally engage with the material because when people see something and um, when they have to see an image when they have to see a video they there is no doubt um, Sean Monson said recently in an interview, he said, seeing is believing. Um, and very, very few people would be unable to emotionally connect with that sort of suffering. They'll, they'll cringe from it or whatever. We need the emotional connection with the suffering of the animal. Now, when you've told people over time, the as we all know, we, we didn't necessarily become vegan right away when we heard, is that words they make up stories in their own mind or they resist it or it's out there or it's your, it's up to you, it's your choice. These are called defense mechanisms. So they defend themselves because not only do they have a massive, they're uncomfortable because they've been part of it and duped, they, their world gets turned upside down. What else can't I trust? So I would, in, in assessing whether that relationship is going to work for you, is I think it's getting someone to see something. Now, when people are resistant, like the person who kindly commented, and gosh, we all empathize with that, thank you for sharing it, is if people, you know, if you're having difficulty getting people to see something, switch it to the quality of the relationship between you. So if you say to someone, look, you, you know, I really don't think you understand me, and I really need you to see this. No, no, I, I don't need to see it. I understand it, your choice. You, it's, we tend to sort of try and give them more information, and then they resist more. Um, because they haven't got any association with that material. It's just, I'm going to resist this, even un uncovering this. So what I would suggest is you switch it. You start talking about, hey, look, we used to be really close, and I really adore you, um, but I just feel really feel you don't get me anymore, and we're just sort of moving away from each other. If that relationship's important to the other person and they fear losing it, They'll say, "Well, no, of course I understand you. You know, um, you know, I want to hear about you." Well, unfortunately, this is such a big thing in my life. Until you see something, you really can't get me. And I guess I'm asking you, as my friend, to actually see this so that you can make an informed decision. You know, I do go to social events in my shared office with all sorts of little businesses um, and I would point out before or else I just go there normally and I pretend they're going to have vegan food. So, hey, Claire, do you want something to eat? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the vegan options. <laughs> oh, we haven't got any of those. Oh, well, uh, you know, <laughs> and you, you normalize it. Let's normalize it. It's the most abnormal thing to eat other living creatures. And uh, I do this on the plane as well. And the woman comes along. Like, Would you like something to eat? Oh, yeah, lovely. I love the vegan option. <laughs> oh, we haven't got one of those. Um, this is on a short flight and obviously on the large ones you book this stuff and they go haven't got oh don't worry then i won't bother do you want a cup of tea oh lovely yes please do you want milk yeah do i have the soy milk oh we haven't got that oh really and i could see them over time sort of with all the vegans doing it they're going to go back to their think tank with you know richard or something and say hey do you know everybody's asking for this and actually he's already doing it you know he's moved to um making huge changes in their their dietary thing more plant-based you might have seen that so richard you know Branson? we're on the yeah, Richard yes, Branson. Yes, yes, we so, had the best, yep. one of the best vegan meals ever on our flight from Brisbane to LA. Yes. Oh, fantastic. On, on Virgin uh, Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, there you go. And um, <laughs> so this is really good news. So you know, have, when you have this thing is, is firstly believing that we are not the odd ones here. We're not mm -hmm. abnormal. And all these people will thank us the more we're truthful for it. So if you're in the work situation, I want to make sure you eat before, as all vegans do, of course, and just politely turn it down. You don't have to turn, make it a big deal. Um, you can actually um, just say normally, actually, I'm just looking for something. Actually, I